Why I detest KSI. Why I'm incapable. Kid that we didn't go to the moon. He knew about 9-11 right away. He knew, he knew about 9-11? Like that it was not the real story. <laughs> Ah! Fuck! It's a blowhorn. We are going to test it out right now. It's pretty loud. Oh, so here we go. About two, three years ago, I would, I would contest you on that and say. Talent can go a very long way in Hollywood. You have the rappers who go into the booth like twice a week and make a hit song. Opposed to you, who's making music constantly. So I would argue that talent can definitely be a stronger force than hard work. But I don't think it can anymore because hard work is something that most people who work hard have their entire lives and will have for the rest of their lives. And is an attribute that can attribute to enormous amounts of success forever mm -hmm. the longevity of it it can be enormous <laughs> the idea was to shock and show the harsh realities of the suicide and get people talking about something that i don't think people are talking about much and still that's the goal today When you're around people like this, it's it's if you sen if you sense what I sense, I guess about them, it's it's like a pit in your stomach just from them being around. Are they characteristics? I guess. Yeah, I mean, there's a lot to it. I, a lot of it is just the main thing that people talk about is like they have no empathy, and I think that's a hard thing for people to actually fully understand because most of us don't have this issue, so we feel for other people. Yeah. They wouldn't if someone kicked a dog and they saw it, they wouldn't feel anything for it. Like imagine. If you lived in a world in your brain where anything that happened to other people, you didn't really care about it at all. You didn't care what how they felt. You didn't care what happened to them, as long as it didn't affect you. That is terrifying. Yeah, that sense that like ugh, that feeling. Like, ugh. is that a mental disorder? What is it? Technically speaking, a lot of like clinicians like myself would call it antisocial personality disorder. Sociopaths believe that like the law doesn't apply to them and like the rules don't apply to them. They're like above it and they're so important to everybody else that like they'll get away with it. Like nobody will care. So they always just think they're better, bigger, and more important than everybody else. Like for instance, failure to conform to social norms with respect to lawful behavior. So they're usually like getting into fights. And deceitfulness, indicated by repeating lying, using aliases, conning others. Um, so using anything they can to get their needs met. People aren't people, they're just tools to be used in their life for their being, whatever it is. Okay, so like to a sociopath, the world is a chess game. Yes. And all the pieces are people. And they don't care about them, there's no empathy for them, for that. They're just the tools. So like for example, if it was a YouTuber, they would probably be moved to fans. Mm -hmm. No, because they no, want something. They give because the main two things that they usually want is power and money. And I'm going to be the biggest entertainer. Make out a sociopath to be synonymous with psychopath. The words sound very similar, but mean very different things. And again, for the young and interpretal audience, they will confuse the two and think psychopath means sociopath. Not the case! In fact, in Shane's video itself, he'll, he'll say the word and then show the word psychopath. I want to talk to a psychologist if he is a sociopath. Hey everybody, today I want to talk to you about the word psychopath. 
And I want to make that clear because even in Shane's uh, video itself, there's a couple times where he will say the word so sociopath, but show something psychopathic or even show the word psychopath. I heard Steve Jobs was a sociopath. I, yeah, I did hear about that. I heard Steve Jobs was a sociopath. You have to think says with Steve Jobs was a psychopath. What I'm saying is you're confusing people! And the reason I'm so intrigued and feel compelled to say something about this is because at the beginning of the year, I'm gonna open up here for a second. You guys can imagine tons of people, even people in my circle, close friends, like, yo, you're a sociopath, straight up. I'm going to the top! And not to mention, I was the 22-year-old, blonde-haired, blue-eyed kid from Ohio with 45 million followers on the internet. Every single day, my actions were validated by 5 to 7 million viewers, and as long as I wasn't doing any harm, no one was trying to stop me. Not my peers, not my family, not even members of my own team. And then, in December of 2017, I went to Japan. It was the perfect storm of circumstance, ignorance, ego, and downright stupidity. The backlash against a social media star who posted video of an apparent suicide victim is intensifying. The video viewed over 6 million times in just 24 hours. YouTube star Logan Paul is facing the fallout after posting a video that showed the victim. And the backlash was massive. People and creators of all sizes denouncing Logan Paul and this video. Actor Aaron Paul saying, Logan Paul, go to hell. So many people sharing stories of people they lost due to suicide and some specifically hanging. I obviously, as a person, Person, as a human being, I was frustrated and pissed off and offended by his actions. A hero for a lot of kids is to, to Logan fans, and when I see that, I, I care so much. <laughs> I'm so disgusted. How could somebody not realize how fucked up this is? This crosses the line, and I am not surprised that he would do something like this. It doesn't make any sense to me whatsoever as a human being. How about a little bit of empathy? like a normal human being, instead of being a moron. Go to a morgue! If you're that fucking morbid. He thought that that was a cool thing to do. In less than 24 hours, I became the most hated person on the planet. I had made an inexcusable mistake, completely destroyed my image, lost every professional relationship that I had, became the internet's favorite meme, and most importantly, had my eyes opened wide to the consequences of my actions. I felt every ounce of disappointment and hate directed at me. The doors go up, right? You know why I moved, right? Because that was your car. It was, my, it was my Lambo. I love Austin, don't get me wrong, but Jake, was that not my vehicle? That is literally your Lamborghini from the back. Oh, you got it, just go straight. Yeah, you got it, no, you got it. You got it. You got it. Are you going to Coachella? Are you going to Coachella? Are you going to Coachella? Uh, you uh, yeah, all right, it's I have gas. Okay, of course I have all right. <laughs> <laughs> Seven, 57, it is a majority draw!